Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll be going over the actual cosmology of the Bleach Bleachverse, as well you can tell by the title. Uh, I know I did talk about the cosmology of Bleach in one of our, my more recent videos in reference to Ichigo, but the thing is, with that video, I only went over the cosmology briefly. I couldn't go in depth or as in depth as I would have wanted to. And I couldn't really talk about things like Hell or the Garganta because those aren't really relevant to the you know scaling of Thousand Year Blood War Ichigo as much in comparison to say Quaker Mundo, Soul Society, and Order of the Living. Plus that video was already long enough. It was already thirty three minutes long, so but as you can tell, I'll be going in depth about the cosmology as much as I can with all the information I could gather. Now, before I go into the major details, I thought I might point out that there are references to Buddhism within the Bleach cosmology that the novels and the actual manga itself pointed out. I know this isn't going to help with the larger N cosmology scaling, but I just thought I would point that out since it is actually pretty neat. Before going into the minor Pacific realms, I've got to go over the Garganta. The Garganta is something of a void between realms, and going off of several novels such as Spirits Are Forever With You, some guides, and the actual manga itself from how it's depicted, as well as several character statements from Yurahara. Despite it being seen as a void between the realms, it's used to be something that connects the realms together within the verse. This is actually supported by how the Garganta is depicted, and how characters use it in, say, the Quaco Mundo arc, for example. The Garganta is also seen as a dimension purely made out of Rishi. Novels have also stated that the Garganta is endless in expanse and has a different flow of time, having it's just its own space-time in general, and characters like Yodohara need to use certain techniques that allow him and other characters like Chad, Ichigo, Ishja to travel between the realms such as the World of the Living and Quaco Mundo. As for the actual purpose of the Garganta, the Garganta serves as the boundary made by the Soul King that divides the world. And if the Soul King is dead or someone that took the place of the Soul King is dead, the Garganta would cease to exist since the Soul King or the Soul King candidate is used to basically stabilize the verse. Can't Fear Your Own World Free also mentions that the earthquake that happened after the death of the Soul King in the Thousand Year Blood War arc nearly destroyed the boundaries between the Soul Society, the Order of the Living, and Quaco Mundo. Add that of the fact that the Garganta is also stated that it serves as a basically a protection uh, for the basically racy dimen space d dimensions within it, meaning the Garganta serves to protect the dimensions, which is the purpose of the boundary in this scenario. Now, keep in mind as we go through each realm within the verse, every realm within Bleach is its own realm of existence, as implied by Rukia, stating that the realm the world of the living is a realm, and things such as can fear your own world promo material supporting the, this idea. These realms were created as confirmed by novels after the Soul King basically split the universe, and and created the three realms after splitting the universe. There being a uni original universe beforehand. Now, the first realm we'll speak about, which is the simplest one to explain, is the world of the living. The world of the living is basically just our own universe placed within the Bleach series, since there are several references to real cities like London, therefore England exists, 
real people, like actors and so on, real planets within the universe, such as Mars, distant galaxies within Kubo's end of uh, volume and the chapter drawings and sketches, and the existence of astrology being confirmed and implied within early Bleach, and we're actually shown our own moon and starry nights several times ever since the first chapter of Bleach. To add even more proof, in novels such as Spirits Are Forever With You, the world of the living is basically just referred to as a universe. There's also sunlight confirmed by the characters, and we're actually shown sunlight with several times within the actual early parts of the series. And even in episode 213, the world of the living is shown to have stars and entire galaxies. Music genres like jazz is even confirmed to be a thing in the manga, as well as Mr. Kubo's sketches. And countries outside of England are also confirmed to exist, such as Japan, obviously, since a good portion of like Bleach is set within Katakura Town, which is obviously in Japan. And things like, like astronauts exist. So you can obviously tell the world of the living is just our own universe. Now let's go over the other dimensions and realms. I'll go over the Soul Society for now. The Soul Society is completely made out of Reshi, since Quincy's, such as Ishja, are capable of absorbing Reshi from nearby buildings. And characters like Sion, Sun Sing stated that Kwekumundo and the Soul Society are just completely made out of Reshi. The Soul Society is a realm that the Soul Reapers live in, obviously, and the Soul Society is also shown to hold Starry Nice, shown within Tozen's backstory, and there are references to a sun, as well as scenes showing sunlight. The Soul Society is also a realm with its own space-time. I say that because we're shown, and it's been stated within the manga, and the anime, as well as anime films and so on, that the Soul Society has its own timeline. An example of this would be a graph that was shown both in the anime and manga when Yurihichi had an inner monologue during Ichigo's Bankai training, and characters outright implying that there are two different timelines for, say, the World of Living and Soul Society. There's also the fact that some guides refer to the Soul Society as a parallel universe or a parallel world to the World of the Living. The, the kanji for world in this context can also be translated to universe if you look at the original Japanese text. Now, even though the Royal Palace is technically within the Soul Society dimension, it has also been stated and described by characters like Old Man Yamamoto to be in a different dimension, and guides also describe it as a higher dimension. So you could probably say that either the Royal Palace is a 5D realm within the Soul Society, or it's literally just a miniature dimension placed above the Soul Society planet the main Soul Reaper cast live on. And another thing I'd like to talk about that is a major talking point for the Soul Society is the Mukin. The Mukin is a part of the Soul Society not only because it's the lowest level of their underground prison, but Shun Sui pointed out when he was freeing Aizen in the later stages of the war arc that the shaking that was caused in the main parts of the Soul Society and the Royal Palace were felt within the Mukin. And when it comes to the size of the Mukin, it's actually infinite in size, suggesting that the world, uh, the Soul Society is also infinite in size. A pretty big reason why I say that is because if you look at the original kanji of the conversation Kampachi and Yunahana had before their fight in the Thousand Year Blood War, Yunahana states, Like the sound of its name suggests, it holds an equivalent size to infinity. 
That's what Yunahan has stated between her and Kampachi. We can actually break down what she said, like word for word or sentence, but like what her said, what she said uh, from one part of the sentence to the other. And just to point out, I'm sorry if I butcher like the original Japanese text, but I'm trying. Now, more specifically, she does state Sono Oto Nakaratu. Sorry again for my poor Japanese, but that really just translates to like this like that sound which cannot which like if you look at the context, it refers to the sound of the prison name Mukin, likely referring to how Mukin sounds like Mugen, and Mukin means inf infinite in size. And the phrase Mugeni just literally means to infinity or not infinitely. Where, you know, Ni connects to Mugen to the rest of the original sentence, and in Japanese sentence structures, things are often backwards where what they'd be in English, which is why the to infinity portion of the sentence is before the noun and the verb as off opposite to after. For an example, if you look at the original sentence I have on screen, that literally translates, let's go to class, where you can see that in the original Japanese phrase, let's go and class are reversed from its English translation. And the Japanese I have on screen translates to basically equivalent space, and the Japanese text I also have on screen now is the basically connecting uh, particle or portion for verbs, and the verb hold slash carry, so the most literal translation of the text would be it holds an equivalent space to infinity like this that sound. Here Yunahana is saying that the mukin is infinite, just how mukin sounds like mukin or infinity. Mukin is often called mukin in which the kanji for mukin means infinite or infinity. And this statement is also supported by the anime version of Can't Fear Your Own World, like adaptation. And which states something similar if you listen to the actual Japanese and read the subtitles. Infinite Sight Mukin is also supported by statements from Can For Your Own World Free pages 248 and 251, as well as guides stating that the Mukin is, well, spreads infinitely. So this means the Soul Society is infinite in size. And now that we've finished speaking about the Soul Society and everything that's in reference to the Soul Society, like the Mukian and the Soul Palace, or the Royal Palace, whatever you want to call it, let's go on to Quaker Mundo. Quaker Mundo has been stated numerous times by guides and novels to be endless, which characters who are able to create soldiers who reside in Quaker Mundo Adareshi state that both in the English translation, as well as the original kanji, if you want to look at it, that he can make an endless amount of soldiers, hinting at an infinite amount of reshi, and therefore making Quakumundo around endless in size, since like endless is synonymous for infinite. The original text for guides also states something similar to back this up. So even if you want to try and debunk an infinite size Quaker Mundo, Quaker Mundo is still holding moons and even suns and sunlight, as well as starry nights, so it's large enough to fit those in. Now on to something that is actually really interesting and a good talking point for the cosmology and how that would affect bleach scaling, that being the Dong Guy. Now, the Dongai is a separate tunnel-like dimension that connects itself from the Soul Society to the world of the living. It even has its own space-time. But when it comes to its time, it's weird to say the least. Not only is time within the Dongai non-linear, it's stated to be completely messed up. And according to Ishin Kurisaki, there are different time arcs and 
characters within the Dongai are confirmed that they aren't traveling forward or backwards in time. And there are multiple different tunnels within Dongai. Timeline with a time within the Dongai is so messed up and so weird that characters like Ichigo in anime filler and movies could actively interact with his past self. Another interesting thing about the Dongai is that within the novels, the Dongai is confirmed to be a hyperspace, which is supported by the like memory of nobody any manga in both the original Japanese text and French translation, which would make this a 4D realm at the very least. And before anyone says, oh, Memories of Nobody is a canon, I'll get into that in a second, don't worry. Another realm is Hell. Now, Hell doesn't have that much about it in the actual Bleach canon, at least in comparison to the other realms. The only major talking point we have is Rukia telling Ichigo after Ichigo Devil Shrieker in the first half of the series, with that hell is a separate dimension where sinners go to die after they're cleansed by a Shimigami Sanpakuto. So everything I'm going to say is going off of hell verse guides and stuff like that. So take what I'm going to say with a grain of salt, since hell verse is not canon. The in hell verse guides scans like the hell one I have in, on screen states well that. Hell is containing of several layers of varying aspects, a quote-unquote multiverse, where the kanji I have on screen means multi and world. So, or in other words, in the actual Japanese, Taju and Sekai. But in the translation would be multi-worlds or many worlds because it fits in the same way which specifically fits in reference to the many worlds interpretation also called the multiverse theory where it states that the many worlds interpretation or IMM is also an interpretation of quantum mechanics that proposes the existence of parallel universes. This means that the in the film, each layer of hell is a completely different universe, and scans I have on screen right now also cites that there is an infinite expanse of water that extends under the first strat uh, stratum. The world covered by this water is the second infertile layer. The surface of the water is doted with flaming, uh, floating islands in the shape of lotus flowers at the heart of which are arranged other like islands basically meaning that you know the second hell the like, second layer hell is infinite in size suggesting that each layer are different universes or infinite in size and the only boundary that connects hell to the let's say order of the living are gates and like this gate it suddenly just appeared in the sky above Katakata Town in the actual film. And lastly, I will be going over the Valley of Screams. And as I said earlier, some people might be going like, Oh, why are you bringing up the Valley of Screams? Why are you bringing up Memories of Nobody? That's an anime-only realm. The, 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 memory, the movies aren't canon. Shut up, they fucking are. Like, like for those wondering, Memories of Nobody is a canon film. Like, there are references to memory of nobody in the actual thousand year blood war manga and like if you look at the end of chapter drawings Kub mr kubo did he basically just tells the reader hey go watch the film if you want the context of what the characters are referring to and even in can fear your own world free the novel series the main antagonist of memories of nobody is actively referenced these things wouldn't be referenced in the manga and in the novels if the movie is canon, unless the movie is canon. And before someone asks if Memory of the Nobody is canon, why isn't Sina referenced? Sina is a character within the film. Well, by the end of the film, the memories of Sina were actively fading, 
and it still fits within the timeline of Bleach, since there is a time span of like a few months between the end of Soul Society arc and the start of the wrong card arc. So it fits, and it makes sense, since there are references to it on why it's canon. Now, within the Valley of Screams and so on, we are actively shown, and it's actively been stated within novels that there are stars, and the you know realm is capable of holding a star. And we're also shown an Earth-like appearance within the dimension, which that would require a star to do. And within the actual movie, it has been stated numerous times by the main antagonists and other characters that the realm can hold an infinite amount of souls and countless blanks, suggesting it's infinite in size. So, in conclusion, the Bleach cosmology is a verse that can hold different infinite-sized realms and hyperspaces, being a structure that, if you want to put it in any power scaling context, is a low multiversal to multiversal sized uh, cosmology and a uh, verse that scales as high as multiversal anyway if you want like more bleach related videos or just power scaling videos in general you can subscribe like and do whatever and i'll see you guys in a another video in the future see ya